I'm Emily, and today I'm here with my friend Bree. Hi guys! She's going to be helping me tackle these shelves that are behind me. So, Bree, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Brianna. I'm so excited to be here. Organizing has been a passion of mine since I've been a little girl. My sister and I would lock ourselves in our room, change it all up, and then have her mom come back in a few hours later to a completely different space. I have loved doing this since I was very little. My favorite color is gray, and I have a little one-year-old at home. So what are you wanting to accomplish with your office shelves? Yeah, so I want them to look Instagram worthy. I want them to be pretty enough that I can actually film with them as a backdrop sometimes. That's a great goal. But I also want to be able to find books and <laughs> like actually be able to use the shelves too. I believe you can have both. I believe you can have function and beauty and you don't have to sacrifice either one. Phase one is going to be taking everything off the shelves. You want to have a clear open space so you can visualize and put things back together in a curated way. We're going to go through, take everything off, clean all the shelves, and then as you're bringing things off the shelves, you're going to want to put them into one of four piles. Keep, donate, maybe, and trash. So that way when you're ready to put things back, you've already done the work, you've gone through it, so we can put it back where it has a purpose. These office shelves are my dream shelf uh, situation. That's awesome. But they do not look awesome right now. <laughs> but we're gonna get there. It's all of a process and it's gonna be so much fun to do it together. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to start. Great, let's get started. just went through all her yarn and then she found a crate that she is going to repurpose from her home and we're going to put it on the other side of the office. It looks so good! All empty! <laughs> <laughs> we have the shelves all empty now so we're ready to start refining all the items that we pulled out and then putting things back and make it beautiful. Now it's the hard part. <laughs> no, it's the fun <laughs> part. <laughs> Place it with a new copy that's the hardcover since this is one of our favorite books. We have all the books gone through now, so now what we're going to do is we're going to shop Emily's house. We're going to look for baskets, containers, decorative objects, and stuff like that. We don't want to sacrifice style that you've already done in your home, but some items are flexible and can be put in other spots. So we want to make your office beautiful and functional. So let's go look for those items. items rather than a lot of small things because when you have a lot of small things it makes the space feel more cluttered. So we're looking for bigger items to style. We're starting with placing our bigger objects first. We want our scale to be proportioned right and we also want your eye to flow down the shelves. So I'm placing bigger items first and then we're going to fill in with things around it. So let's get started. We're going to start pulling in the books um, Emily really likes doing the rainbow method, so we're going to start bringing in and just displaying the colors in different areas. So there's a big debate whether you do books spine in or spine out. I personally believe you can do both, but for this purpose, we're going to want spines in. That way we still have our rainbow effect, but then it's also cohesive and neutral. So that's what we're going to start here. And also, Emily said red was her least favorite color in her book collection. And that's another reason that the spine in is not a problem because these aren't books that I'm reading frequently or need to reference. So having the spines hidden is not gonna be an issue, hopefully.
bit different, huh? What do you think it's of it? Amazing. I really like it. Even just walking in a minute ago, it just feels so different. Good. That's excellent. Yeah. Wonderful. It's so much more peaceful and calming, and it still has like the warmth and the texture of the books, and I still know they're all there, Yeah. but I don't have all that visual clutter. And I was kind of surprised. I didn't think she would be a spine flipper, but she is. Yeah, she was, I know. I don't want I just, this color. I don't want this color. So we are flipping books around, so we have a more balanced and neutral look, which I also think it makes it feel a little bit more open and airy yeah. and cohesive and theme. My biggest takeaways from the process and watching you do your magic on the shelves was that I tend to buy a lot of tiny decor pieces. Mm. And then when you put those together, it just looks cluttered. Yeah. A note for myself is to invest in bigger structural pieces because that will fill up a space better and just looks a lot simpler with less chaos going on. Another point is to stagger your items. So we have mainly the big books up top here, um, the books that she doesn't use as frequently, but then we tried to layer so your eye flowed down. And it took some trial and error. I mean, it took a, yeah. us quite a while. If it doesn't feel right, just keep working on it. Don't hesitate to switch right. whole shelves around. Yep. Move them around yep. so you get the balance. Here we have two bookshelves that are pretty book heavy. And so we have the balance with two that are much lighter on the books and visually a lot more simple. This section I really love. I think it's mainly just because it is so simple and focused and there's just not a lot of distraction there. And each of those items just fills that space really well. We also decided to keep the more accessible stuff lower so she can get to it easily. So on this shelf here, we have her to read pile and then her more referenced pile too. Well, I'm so glad you love it. Thank yeah. you for having me. This is yeah, so much fun you. to do. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's do it again yeah. sometime. Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up down below and click that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video that we do. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! We're gonna get started with the closet. My favorite color. This is hard! Yeah. How do you do this? <laughs>